Hi, I'm Lauren, and I'm here at Ward's Natural Science to show you how to set up your Daphnia culturing kit. You'll have received three things in your kit. First, you'll have your Daphnia, Rhodey Rich, which is a food source, and a small bag of potting soil. You're going to have to supply your own container to keep the Daphnia in. You can use a small plastic terrarium, a glass fish bowl, even a large beaker or a small bucket would be fine. The first thing you're going to do is line the bottom of your container with the potting soil. If you have a large container and the soil only makes a small dusting on the bottom, that's fine. It's really only there to create surface area for protists and bacteria to grow so that the Daphnia have a food source and to provide a little bit of nutrition in the water. So then your next step is to add the water itself. And while your water has just been put in, it's going to be really cloudy, so you don't want to put your Daphnia in right away. But while you're waiting for the water to calm down and for everything to settle, do make sure you unscrew the cap of your Daphnia so that they do have air. And you can set this aside for later. So later on, when your water has settled and is a little bit clearer, you can put your Daphnia in. So just unscrew the cap, and the water you'll notice is sort of a yellowish color. That's completely normal and healthy. That's just the water of the cultures that we have here. And you just pour them in. And you're all set. Now when it comes to feeding, we have a lot of questions about how often you should feed Daphnia. We have a culture of Daphnia here. They don't have any soil on the bottom because they're just for demonstration. Your Rhodey Rich is a mixture of protists and bacteria. And I recommend probably three to four drops. Make sure that you mix it really well. And you'll notice that it's very cloudy and it's going to disperse throughout the tank and cause the water to become cloudy. You'll know that it's time to feed your Daphne again when the water clears because it means that they've eaten the majority of the food and it's time for them to eat again. And that is how you take care of your Daphne. If you want to take your Daphne out of the tank, we recommend using a turkey baster or a pipette with a large opening to suck them up and put them into other vessels. If you use something with too small of an opening, you risk harming the Daphne when you pick them up. So that's everything. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to call us at 585-321-9449 or send an email to sciencehelp at vwreducation.com.